guys good morning what is freaking up you guys today is a stressful day for me today is officially five days away from when matt and i officially take the journey pack the car and move to denver so i'm just curling my hair right now but i just wanted to get started because we're gonna be gone for a whole month and i really don't want to forget anything if i'm like missing anything i can just buy it but i really don't want to have to purchase things that i already have at home i really want Colorado to feel like home while we're there for the month because one we're gonna be there for a whole month and two if Matt and I both want to purchase a home together in Colorado I really want to envision myself living there so I don't want to feel like I'm living out of my suitcase I want to put my clothes on hangers I want to have a closet I want to have like a home that is decorated and cute and stuff like that I struggle with volume and I don't know if you guys can tell or not but I use a different shampoo this is literally two day old hair do you guys see how bouncy my hair is I actually use the Aussie volume shampoo and conditioner and I'm literally so obsessed with it like do you guys see how much volume I have and now I'm putting mousse in just to see how much more volume I can get p.s. I don't know how to use mousse but it's so satisfying I think you just like stick it in your hair right oh my god that smells so good okay guys my boba just got in I'm very excited. I am trying to drink as much boba as possible because in Colorado, there is definitely not gonna be any good bobas out there. If you guys are from Denver, Colorado, please let me know if there are any good spots for boba because I will definitely be doing like a little boba tour. Maybe I'll take you guys along on a Denver boba tour trying to find my favorite boba spots. <laughs> So we are getting ready to pack. So I am only allowing myself this suitcase to pack all of my beauty supplies. And I already know the first thing that's gonna go in here. First thing's going to Denver. We got a bunch of hair care stuff and already that's taking up so much space in my freaking suitcase. But I'm gonna bring a curling iron and I'm also gonna bring, you know what? I'm bringing two. I need to bring a hair blower, hair, 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 hair dryer. I need to bring a hair dryer. Okay guys, we have a hair curler. I don't know if I actually really need a hair dryer because normally I air dry my hair. Four out of the five times I shower, I just air dry it. Maybe I do want to bring a hair dryer. Or do I not? I really want to bring this chopstick curler. I've been really, really loving the look of coily hair. I think people with coily hair are beautiful and gorgeous. And I remember when I was a kid, my mom would have permed hair. So her hair was in like really tight curls growing up. I love that look of it. I've never, ever done it. And I just really genuinely just want to try it and to see if it'll look good on me. So I bought this thing from Amazon and it gives you those like really kinky coily curls that I think are beautiful oh my god am i gonna bring a straightener tiffany realistically will you straighten your hair in colorado probably not i think what i'm actually gonna do is take everything out and then from there we're gonna see what i should actually bring or not so, okay so this is all of my nail stuff as you guys can clearly see there is definitely no space in my suitcase i really need to go through and see what i should bring or not a girl needs options okay so i need the foundation the cuticle oil the ph bond and then the top coat we're gonna bring white we're gonna bring the black and we're gonna bring this color called tiramisu for two and this color called topless beach wow i'm just gonna be surrounded by stuff by the end of this so we're bringing these little rhinestones these rhinestones i've been using on my face as well for like my euphoria look that i did recently and here's a photo of it kelly helped me do this makeup look it looks freaking bomb i bought all of these nail charms from amazon by the way wow okay so i am bringing so many of these so we're bringing six out of like the 16 that I have. I think that's pretty freaking good. All right, so I grabbed a little makeup bag and I'm gonna try to fit all of my nail stuff in here. Oh my God, is everything gonna fit? It all fit, it all fit, it all fit. Perfect, great. All right, so we have all my hair stuff. We have all my nail stuff. We need to get my skincare and makeup and body care in order. Okay, here's all of my body care that I like to use. We're gonna definitely take this guy. I love the use for skin calming moisturizer. I use this every single time I get out of the shower. The Urea Repair Hand Cream, the Skin Fix Soothing Body Cream is amazing. I also need to bring a razor. So we're gonna bring this brand new one from Venus Gillette. Ooh, I always need feminine wipes. I love these ones from Rail. Eyebrow trimmers for your face. 
I honestly completely forgot that I also need to take care of my teeth while I'm in Denver. So we have to bring the water pick, we gotta bring the toothpaste, the toothbrush as well, and of course floss, and my Invisalign products. We have to bring my reusable cotton rounds. I love using these. You just throw them in the wash whenever they're dirty. We're gonna be bringing these to Denver as well. And I think I'm just gonna pack everything and then over the next few days just live out of my suitcase so that I for sure have everything in order. Now it's the skincare stuff. I love these strips. I only need one because I only like to use these like maybe once or twice a month. Ooh, my liquid exfoliate. Definitely want to try her out. So many things, guys. So many things. So we're going to my office because we're going to pick up... Wow, it's bright. We're going to pick out some makeup palettes that are very colorful to bring with me. I can't bring a bunch of makeup because I have a lot I could bring. I really do. I really could bring my entire house if I could. I have been super into makeup. If you guys have been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you guys will know I've been trying out a bunch of makeup looks. So I need to go through all of my makeup to see what kind of like fun makeup I can do without going overboard. I do have a couple of palettes that I have in mind. I got a bunch of these mini palettes recently from Too Faced and I think they're so, so adorable. Like look how tiny they are. This one is my favorite. I'm obsessed with purple recently. I can also bring my James Charles palette that we have as well. This Nomad palette is beautiful. Like wow, that is a beautiful palette. I think I want to take this palette as well. This is like a more neutral palette. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, so here are all the palettes I ended up deciding that I'm going to bring with me. This is a lot. I understand that, but you guys have no idea. I had like four more palettes I wanted to bring, and that is why I am an overpacker, guys. Alright, guys. We did it. We figured it all out. I figured out everything that I'm bringing with me. I wish men, I wish boys, boys and men, just realized how expensive it is to be a girl. Like, it is so expensive to make myself look pretty. They just need to get on our level. So we're gonna pack this suitcase. I am praying everything fits in there because that's all I'm allowed to bring. I'm not allowed to bring anything outside of my suitcase that has to do with beauty and makeup and hair. no way guys there is literally no way all this stuff is gonna fit in here i'm feeling so stressed out guys i don't know how this is gonna fit i am really really sad i need to bring all this stuff there is nothing i don't want in here perfectly guys that makes me so happy the next thing we need to do is pack all of my freaking clothes i'm only allowing myself one suitcase full of clothes now i'm not gonna lie the suitcase is very large but it's gonna be holding 30 days worth of clothes which is a lot so i need like 15 pairs of underwear so i only have to do laundry once while i'm there the big baby is out she is massive this is hands down the biggest suitcase that i own i'm not gonna lie i don't know how to dress for the cold so i always overpack whenever i'm dressing for the cold because i'm like oh my god what if i need 17 layers we need like a pair of pajamas i don't wear pajamas that often but in colorado i'll probably be very cold we have one pajama top one pajama bottom and now this is where i feel stressed you know what i'm gonna pack my valentine's day outfits because we're gonna be spending valentine's day there and i want to look like super cute i think we're gonna do takeout we're gonna go probably spend snowboarding or something so let's pick out some cute ass outfits first valentine's day fit is this ruched long sleeve dress we're gonna pack her there's also this gorgeous purple dress it's super ruffly and this one's from revolve we're gonna pack this one another one we got these pants i feel like i should do this again where i lay everything out on my bed to see what I have and then pack everything together. Oh my God, I just realized all my freaking shoes have to fit in here as well. How, 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 how is that gonna happen?
Okay guys, a little update here. As you guys can clearly see, my freaking bed is filled with clothes. I'm having such a hard time figuring out what I want to bring and what I want to not bring. And this isn't even including my snowboarding clothes or any of my jackets that I want to bring along as well or any of my accessories or shoes. I am struggling. But you know what? It's okay. My hair looks cute. That's all that freaking matters. I'm gonna have a good time no matter what I'm wearing. So I really shouldn't care too much. Hey guys, it got really dark in my bedroom. So we are gonna pack inside of my closet. I think I might possibly be done packing everything clothes wise. I might possibly take some stuff out, but for now, this is everything we're taking along with me. Matt saw this and thought I was actually insane. Oh my god, I put two things in here and already one eighth of my entire suitcase is gone. So I really don't know how all the stuff is going to fit in here. Okay, weirdly enough, everything is kind of fitting. We're still not anywhere close to being done packing all the clothes, but it's pretty good. I'm actually shocked at how much I was able to pack in here. I just have this like big poofy jacket. I honestly think we're doing it. We're doing it guys. We got everything to fit. Other than like jewelry, I think I'll pack that like another day just so I know that I have everything. I'm gonna actually put all my snowboarding gear in a different bag so that I know that everything is together. Only because I'm cheating a little bit and there's just no way my snowboarding gear is gonna fit in here because that'll take up like half the suitcase with my like boots and mittens and gloves and all that stuff. So that's gonna go in a separate pile now that i know i have a little bit of space left i'm like looking around my closet as if i should bring more stuff when i know i shouldn't be bringing more stuff so tiffany stop looking around you don't need more things in your suitcase i do want to see and check out denver thrifting just to see what is there so i'm gonna leave a tiny tiny bit of extra space in this suitcase for uh shit i want to bring home with me <sighs> Okay. Oh my god. That is actually amazing. I'm so excited about this. I'm really hungry. I think Matt's making us salmon right now. I just want to eat. I'm starving. Oh my god. All my camera equipment. Holy cow. I have so much to pack. I honestly was like, wow, I got so much done. Realizing I actually don't have anything done. All right, here we have it guys. I have my little suitcase filled with all of my makeup gear and then my giant suitcase filled with clothes. It is like bulging out. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's not straight at all. So I just finished cleaning my entire room. I didn't do like a super amazing job at it. I'm currently eating Ritz Bits with cheese. Literally, this is such a throwback to my childhood and it's making me so happy. I'm kind of obsessed with these. They're so good. And I'm sad I only have like a few left. That's a good thing because I don't want to ruin my appetite since Matt's cooking right now. Hey guys, it's the next day now and I figured I would just end today's vlog right here. Uh, last night, Matt and I just had dinner on the couch and I just watched a bunch of movies and got a bunch of work done. But if you guys did make it to the end of the video, Comment down below, what was your favorite childhood snack? Uh, last night I was eating Ritz Bits. These were one of my favorites as a kid. Uh, Lunchables, Oreos, all that good stuff. So let me know what was your favorite. Bye guys, bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.